it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would show you guys a tour of my nightstand and my husband's nightstand. I just recently decluttered one of the drawers in his nightstand, which kind of was the catapult to, or catalyst, I guess is the word, to redoing all of them, even though they all needed to be done anyway. Now they all have been organized and I thought I would share with you what is in them. One thing I want you to be noticing while I'm showing you what is in my nightstand is what isn't in my nightstand. And then at the end, I will tell you what's missing in case you didn't notice on your own. So we both have a nightstand. They came with the old bed we used to have from Ashley Furniture. We no longer have the bed, but we do still have the nightstands and they're fairly large, which is nice. The top drawer is the stuff that I use the most. It is not Pinterest worthy. It is not something you're gonna wanna like ooh and ah over, but it's functional. I have everything I need and I know where it is. So I have my Bible here and then this is the devotional that I'm working through right now. And I used to keep it in the nightstand on top of my Bible and then it was out of sight, out of mind. It became, it used to be a habit and then it became not a habit anymore. And so even though I don't love having it sitting out, it's the only way that I remember to read it at night. So my Bible stays in here, my devotional stays right here. And that was something I shared in my February 2022 goals and intentions was that I really wanted to get back in the habit of doing that at night in, in addition to what I do in the morning with the girls. So that's kind of part of my process of making sure that I do that every day and make it a habit again. So that stays there. The Bible stays here. In this middle compartment, these organizers came from Dollar Tree. I have a flashlight. My dad always said, make sure you have a flashlight next to your bed. So I have a flashlight in case I need that. I also have a lint roller, which is not for clothing. I use it to clean the lampshades. So that stays in there. And then I also have a Swiffer duster. Here's the handle for the Swiffer duster. I just break it apart so it fits in the drawer. And then I have some furniture wipes down there. And that's that little drawer. Over here, I have two pairs of scissors, some pens, bookmarks, and notepads. I usually will like write the girls a note every so often, leave it in the room, or if I need to remember something when I'm in bed, I have notepads there. Also, I wrap gifts in here. All of our gift wrap is organized under the bed, and so I have scissors there and pens up here in the front. I have the hand cream I'm using right now, and I also have this one from Bath & Body Works, which is a lot lighter, and so I use it a lot more in the summer. I have an extra chapstick, a pack of tissues, a glasses cleaning cloth and a nail file. Then also I have my tape dispenser. As I said, I wrap gifts in here and so I keep my tape dispenser here. This box is a little unconventional probably. I don't even know, it was a piece of jewelry that somebody got. And whenever my daughter, my oldest daughter's bird, Tango, loses feathers, like pretty unique ones, we like to keep them. And so my, my youngest wrote a long time ago, she wrote this, only for Tango feathers. So this is where we keep our very special Tango feathers. And then I just have two coasters down here that I made with my Cricut Maker. Um, I had a different coaster that I made out of a Disney park map, but my husband had one and his broke and so they didn't match and so I wanted to have new ones. So I have two of these just have in there because I take water with me everywhere and there's always a bottle of water on my nightstand at night and so I have a coaster for that. And then the second drawer, these are quite a bit deeper. I just keep an extra throw blanket and then this little Squishmallow which is for Christmas so I don't want him out all year long. So he's staying in there right now. Also when it's not winter time, I have my heated blanket stays in here. Um, it's Well, it's really a throw. So it's small enough folded up that it will fit in this drawer and so that's where it goes. And then down here, um, I could put my heated blanket here or I just have extra room, but I, right now I have a heating pad and I have a handheld massage like It's got like a it's hard to explain. I showed it in an Amazon favorites video Let me take it out of the bag so you can see it. It's actually really nice if you have like a bad back like I do or You get sore muscles a lot you work out. It's really long And so it's easy to get over your own back and massage your own shoulders and it's got a bunch of attachments to it, so I keep that in there. So that is everything in my drawers. I don't know, do other people keep blankets and heating pads and stuff in nightstand drawers? I don't know. But did you notice what is not on my nightstand? Have you noticed yet? <laughs> if not, I will go ahead and tell you it is my cell phone. A couple years ago, I decided to stop keeping my cell phone in my room because I used to use it, like most people do, as an alarm clock. I would use it at night for music to go to sleep with and all that stuff. And it was a really bad habit because... I was finding myself staying up too late on my phone. I would get up in the middle of the night and get on my phone to just do whatever. And I was staying in bed longer in the morning when it was time to get up. I was sitting around on my phone a good 20, 30 minutes checking my emails and looking through Instagram and all that stuff, which is not a good habit to be in. And it really just 
perpetuated me wanting to be on my phone more and more and it was disturbing my sleep. So a couple years ago, I did take my cell phone out of my room and I've talked about that on my channel a while. I think it's really important to keep cell phones out of your room and out of your kids' rooms. The only thing is I did have to make a few changes to the top of my nightstand to compensate for the fact that I do not have an alarm clock anymore and I did not have my phone for music anymore. So I do have an alarm clock and I also have a sound machine there that I use um, if I need you know, something to relax to. It just makes nature sounds. The alarm clock I really like because it's not ugly. You can turn the numbers all the way down so at nighttime it's not like shining in my face and um, I just really like it. So it was really, in, really inexpensive and it solves the problem of using my phone for an alarm. Now my husband does keep his phone on his nightstand. I don't, I wish he didn't, but he does, but he uses his own phone for an alarm to get up in the morning when he has to go to work. Um, and sometimes we'll use um, what I'm, the, the wireless speaker over there I'll show you uh, for different music. But it's nice to have an option for background noise. And I have my own alarm because we are not on the same waking up schedule. So that is my nightstand. And I will go over there now and show you what is in his. So like I said, we do have a wireless speaker. Well, it's a Bluetooth speaker. It's not a smart speaker. I didn't want that in here. And so it's just a speaker that uses Bluetooth. He's got his watch or his um, phone charger. And then... His top drawer is pretty simple. Same thing with the the coasters I made for him with my Cricut. I thought they were really funny because he's a big gamer and so I made those for him. He's got his Bible and then these little wooden trays are actually old Melissa and Doug toy trays. They work perfectly for his side of the drawer. So we have the different remotes in here that we need. He also has his own flashlight. And then this little tray back here, he's got tissues a glasses cleaner, a lock for when he used to go to the gym, and then we have a thing of um, thread in case he loses a button off of his pants. We also have a tape measure and a measuring tape. We keep those up here even though we have tape measures downstairs. A lot of times if we're up here we want to measure something really quickly, we don't want to have to go downstairs to the garage to get the big tape measure, so we just have an extra one up here and it works out perfectly. So that's his top drawer. His second drawer, and you guys would have seen what this looked like if you watched my declutter with me when I did the battery drawer, which is the next drawer I'm going to show you. This was a mess. It was an absolute mess. So you guys need to check that video out. I'll link it for you. Um, but this is basically just his stuff because it is his nightstand. So he's got his old watches. He's, he has a smart watch now. But he still has a collection of like regular watches he wants to keep, so he has that. Also in the very back, if you can see, he has his own Christmas Squishmallow that the girls insisted that he get last Christmas. And so that's in there because obviously it's not Christmas. Back here we just have a couple extra phone, those little bank things, what are they called? Like the bases that you plug phones into. I don't know why they're in here, but he wanted to keep them and so those are in there in a little box. And then back here is all phone stuff. So we've got extra earbud protectors an old charger he used to use for his phone, his watch bands, cell phone cases, the magnets for cell phones, screen protectors, all that stuff back there is kind of like electronic miscellaneous stuff that lives in that box. And then up here, he has all of his bracelets and stuff that he sometimes switches through or just things the girls have given him. And I got him this for our 11th anniversary. Doesn't fit him anymore, but he wants to keep it. So just stuff like that stays right there. And then the bottom drawer, you guys would have seen if you watched that declutter with me video for the batteries. Um, we had a mess. This drawer was an absolute disaster. And I said in that video that this drawer, however rarely he gets in this drawer, was the only thing in the house that he complained about being unorganized. Like, I don't care what the house looks like. He never says a word. I don't care how, how unorganized something is. He doesn't usually ever say anything. But for some reason, he was really bothered by the, the state of the battery drawer. And it was bad. But it's not like you get in here every single day. But he really was annoyed by it. And this drawer is really what started me going ahead and redoing everything. So, as you can see, it's super organized. All the batteries are not touching. So, it's less of a fire hazard. It's also supposed to be better for their longevity if they're not touching. These are actually ammo boxes. Um, I'll link them on Amazon if I remember. So, AAA. All these are for AA. We have... C's and nine bolts back there. We have like specialty batteries, button cell batteries, and we also have a screwdriver because you should always have a screwdriver with your batteries. And then I have um, my rechargeable batteries charger and um, this thing that I use um, when I film sometimes instead of using the battery that comes in the camera. This thing's actually really neat. It plugs in like a battery, but it's electrical. So I get a continuous use out of the camera without having to change batteries. So I have that. So that is everything that's in his side 
of the nightstand. So back over here to my side, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what is in the nightstand drawers. I get a lot of questions over the years about like, cause I'm filming in here, this is where I film. So people are like, where's your bed spread from? What are the stuffed animals on your bed? What's in your nightstand drawers? And I get those questions periodically throughout the year. So I thought it'd be fun to show you what's in there, um, how it's really just what I need. It's minimal. It's not more than I need. It's exactly what I need. And I do not have my cell phone in here, which like I said, for me is really important. And I feel like a lot of people, whether they admit it or not, are addicted to their phones and their phones do affect their sleeping. They also affect their productivity when you wake up and the first thing you do is get on your phone. You're not going to be as productive because you're going to be spending an extra whoever knows how long sitting on your phone, scrolling and stuff. So Highly encourage you guys to rethink keeping your phone in your room. I wish my husband didn't, but I cannot make him not keep it in the room. Um, but I know I can control my side and what I do with mine and how I let my phone affect me. So that is why it's not in my room. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments something that you keep in your night side table, bedside table that maybe I'm missing. So far I haven't noticed that I miss anything, but maybe I do. Maybe there's something I need to keep in mind that I don't or I didn't think of. So. You guys let me know in the comments some things that you keep in your bedside table. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.